Hey guys, it is hump a day. Welcome to Shore Life Creations. I'm Betty. I am the owner and creator and welcome. We are going to work on a mermaid wreath today. So come on in, say hi, tell me where you're from, tell me how your day is going, and let's do something fun. And let's do it together. If you haven't joined my text messaging service, the number is at the top. You too can get a text message and be notified. This is what we are going to be working with today. Let me turn the light on. You would think I'd be better prepared but I'm not. I decided to do this at the last minute. I thought I've got a few orders to get out, but I said I want to do this live and share with you guys this attachment that I have because it is so cute. We're going to be using this mermaid tail. Isn't that cute? So what better way to share what I have than to use it? So we're going to use this today on this grapevine wreath and show you guys how cute it is. So let's attach it first. And I want it to sit like this, so we're going to take cable tie mount and put here where it's going to connect and put one here. So I already have the backing off the mount. I'm going to add a little bit of DAP glue also for extra security. on it and let that sit for a few minutes so it can dry set that back over there out of the way I'm just going to put a little pressure on the back where my cable tie mounts are. Just for a few minutes, a couple minutes. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It's beautiful. It's supposed to be very hot today, but that's okay. It's going to make, I think, for a nice weekend. Anybody have plans for the holiday weekend? Tell me what your plans are. The Valerie, the um, mermaid tail is a wood attachment that I have available in my shop. So let's attach this. Got my brown pipe cleaner. I have several different types of wood attachments in my shop. Along with my metal signs. I like the wood attachments. I like the shapes. Gives you something different choose from other than round and square signs. I like variety. I like having something different. So 
So I'm just going to attach this at the top. This also comes in two different colors. This is the blue green. It comes in a pink purple variation. But if there's a different, something different you want, just message me. I can do different things. I can do a different variation if it's something different you're looking for. That's the good thing about being able to do your own. I'm always pretty versatile. If you're looking for something different. All right. There we go. Our tail is on. Now, I would appreciate it if you guys would share the love. I'm still trying to get my viewership built up since I'm starting over again with my page. You know, it's hard to go back to starting over before when I was doing lives I had all kinds of viewers and now I'm starting over again let's start with some greenery I'm not sure I'm going to put a lot in here can't decide exactly which way I want to go with this. So, it's going to be a little trial and error. So, we'll add and we'll subtract and we'll see how we feel about it as we go along. My, uh, my jam is anything beachy, beach trees and summer stuff, and so I always seem to come back to it. I do other things, but my, uh, my background and my enjoyment I get out of really just doing beachy summer stuff, a lot of seashells and crabby and I don't know, I guess it's just in my, in my soul. <coughs> If you have any questions or feel free to ask. I've been doing this for, well, I've been doing crafting and all for a long time, but I didn't really start into the online business 
four or five years ago. Which was a whole new thing to me. Learning how to open an Etsy shop and So that was a new experience. And then learning how to go live and finding my footing there. But I have enjoyed every minute of it. Met a lot of creative people. This industry is so full of creatives. Talented people. So many good people. Wonderful people. opens up a whole new world that I never would have imagined. I have traveled all over the place. Made so many new friends. All right, I think that's enough greenery. Might save that piece out. I'll go ahead and get rid of this. Put that aside. But the greenery makes the blue really pop out. In here today. Let's see what else we can add here. Make sure you come in. When you come in, you say hi. Let us know what you're up to today. Let us know if you're getting ready for some big holiday weekend plans. I like this stuff. It kind of reminds me of some uh, fishnet. So I want to see what it's going to look like if I add this to my wreath. We'll see. We can always take it back out if I don't like it. I'm just going to ruffle it up and add it in see what it looks like. Add 
add a few pieces here and there. And I'm not measuring it. I'm just cutting some pieces. Just freestyling. And this is, I don't know what they call this. What they call this mesh. I used to know the name of it. If anybody out there knows. Feel free to jump in. Hey Vicki, how are you today? I'm glad you joined us. I feel like I'm talking to myself today. Nobody's popped in and said anything. I'm just kind of rambling on over here. Just rambling to myself. How's your day going? I'm making a mermaid. Woo! The chenille stems are really chenille. -y. A lot of fuzzy to them. I don't know if I want to cut those off yet or not. Might leave those for right now. All right. I have visions of a bow going right here. So I have these. I wanted some green. I'm doing well, thanks. Some green hydrangeas. Hold on, let me find. I think I've got some greenish. Tiny hydrangeas. To go with the blue. Supposed to be in the 90s today. So I'm kind of laying low in the AC. I don't do high heat. Hey, Deb, where have you been? I've been in here talking to myself. You're supposed to be my backup. You left me. Did you not get your text message? I mean, you're not supposed to have a life. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to have a life. Asleep. You gonna sleep your life away? The day's half gone. I have glue strings wrapping me up here. Hey, Gerda. Or 
we're working on this mermaid tail. The mermaid tail is available in my shop. It's wood. Comes in two sizes and two colors. Right now I'm working on blue strings. Well, you're not allowed to have a have a life. It's about like me. I'm not allowed to have a life. I'm running out of glue in my glue pot. I need to put some more sticks in there. Just getting a little, a little slim. A little dry. I should have pulled some more stuff out. Some more stuff to put in here. Because it's not like I don't have plenty of beach stuff. Phew. All right, let's make a bow. See what the bow does. See what we can do for a bow. So it's time to redirect the camera. liking it so far. I'm liking it so far, but we need to add more stuff. All right. I need to go over here and direct the camera down. I need to have one of those two camera systems so I can switch from front to back. I mean to top. So I don't have to keep doing this. but I'm not fancy like that. I don't have two cameras. Not yet anyway. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I'm not real tech savvy guys. I'm just telling you. Oops, sorry. All right, I'm not real tech savvy. I'm just saying. I'm lucky to have one camera set up. I have the Mevo. And it faces straight on. I don't, it doesn't face up top and then It redirects front. It doesn't go overhead. I haven't figured out how to get it to do both. Now, if you want to come over here and figure it out for me, 
you're more than welcome. Just fly on in and figure it out, and we'll be all good. Yes, I realize that. Overhead is another camera. I'm doing five inch loops, guys. Why Deb's trying to tell me how to do my camera. Three loops on each side. Mine still works. And I finished that in just the right place because this ribbon is spliced right there. So there you go with that. This is some mermaid ribbon I got. I wasn't too sure I liked it, but it's going to go with this wreath, so. It's going to work. We're going to do, I think, four and a half inches. And I'm going to do three loops again on each side. Somebody said that the Mevo has worked out a fix or something where you can use two Mevos and they'll work together. I have not looked into it. Like I say, I'm not real tech savvy. I have another Mevo, the older one. So it might be something I can look into. But I have to figure out how to mount the other one so it's overhead. I'm going to add two loops of purple on each side. And then I'm going to put a center loop of purple in the middle. And I need a zip tie.
Now I always, I haven't cranked down on my zip tie and I'm not pulling real hard because I'll pull my loops too much, but I will move my loops where I want them and fluff them out before I pull tight on my zip tie. And then I'll go back, get my pipe cleaner, put it in. And then crank down on it. Then I can crank and pull and do what I want. But I pretty much got everything where I want it then. All right. Did we lose everybody? I noticed my video keeps wanting to stop. Not much participation today, unfortunately. So let's zoom in on our reef. Go back up here. This table, it's usually over there where I work off of it. I got brought it up so things are eye level. I can see better off of it. It helps. It helps me. Yep, I like the bow. I like the purple. All right, I think I can cut the chenille now. Does my laptop need updating? I don't think so. Okay, let's see. Hold, please. Hold, please. We need some more goodies. I didn't dig out enough goodies.
Not enough goodies. Hey, Spongy. Well, you know, I wasn't sure how many goodies I needed. And when I'm doing the bee trees, I kind of, I kind of feel my way until I start. And then I have to figure as I go what I need to put in it. Yes, and I've got so much to pick from because, you know, I collect the speech stuff all the time. So, I'm on the hunt for it. Now i got to figure out how I'm going to attach that. How are you, Spongy? Tell me something good. It's been kind of quiet in here today. I haven't had a whole lot of company in here. I have Deb keeping me company. It's kind of hard building up my following here since my pack took place, but I'm trying, I'm a trying, doing my best, I'm sticking to it. Ow, 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 that was hot. Trying to stick it to that pipe cleaner. Thank you. Be safe out there. I appreciate you coming by. Join my text alert. You'll know next time I go live. I appreciate you. I appreciate that, Spongy. I do. I'm going to hold that on there until it gets good and cool. I don't want it falling off. Because it's a pretty oyster shell. And these kind of wreaths, I could spend all day fussing with them. Because, you know, it's kind of where my passion lies.
So I guess it shows because I don't stop messing with them. Thank you, Spongy. I do too. I like the blues and the purples and the greens. But I have to know where to tell myself to stop because not everybody can afford a $260 wreath. So, I have to try and make the ring for the people that want something they can afford. So I like to make them for everybody. So I have pretty much a wide price range in my shop. Plus selling the attachments so everybody can make a wreath. So if you buy the mermaid tail, you can make your own. I'm wrapped up. I'm wrapped up in glue strings. All right, I need something else right there. Oh, please. Oh, please. I'm not sure what it's going to be. What will it be? Will it be a seahorse? don't think so. A starfish.
Let's see. Hey, Christine. My eyes are doing really well. He's released me. Said if I had any problems to come back. Otherwise, he'd see me in a year. Sent all my records to my regular eye doctor. So, I guess I'm okay. All right, I think we got it. We have the starfish seashells, the coral, we got all the things going on, the oyster shell, I've got the glue all over me. I've got all the things going on. We got a close up here. What do you think? Oops, wrong way. If you're interested, it comes in two sizes. There's a smaller size. And it comes in two colors. It comes in the blue, green, purple, and it comes in the pink, purple, if you're interested. Check it out. The link is put, pinned at the bottom. This I'll take pictures of and post in my shop in just a little bit. I got a few orders to get packaged up and get out to the mail. I appreciate you guys pumping in. I appreciate your support. Uh, my text alert is at the top pinned. If you're interested, sign up for text alerts. You'll know when I go live. I'm going to be going live a couple times a week, showing off new attachments, new signs, using them in uh, wreaths so that you get an idea and what's coming up, what's in the shop. What new signs are coming out. And you never know. I might have some kits coming out. I might have sign boxes coming out. But you're going to hear it on the live first. And you won't want to miss out. So, you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And if I don't talk to you before the weekend. Have a great weekend. Be safe. Watch out for drunk drivers, be careful. I don't want anybody getting hurt out there. And be good to yourself. Be kind to others. I love you guys. Talk to you soon.